Hi everyone, it's Lucy. So 2020 has arrived and what better time than now to set some nice health and weight loss goals. I totally agree with that and it's great. But one thing I see a lot of people doing in January and that you really shouldn't be doing is going on detox diet or like cleanses, juice detox, anything like that. That's just really, really not necessary. And it can actually even be harmful to you. I know it's a very alluring concept. You've probably been overeating, over drinking, indulging in things you shouldn't have. You can feel that your body isn't healthy, isn't at its best. And you think, oh, you know, I'm just going to drink some juice and some overpriced tea and just reset my body, reset everything back to normal. Well, that's not the way things work. Following a detox diet is useless at best. I mean, you'll lose your money probably, but at worst, it can actually be very dangerous. So here are some facts. So first of all, what is a detox diet? A detox diet is a short-term diet that promises to rid your body of harmful toxins and also supposedly promotes health and weight loss. These cleanses are recommended because of potential exposure to toxins in your environment and in your diet. They can include drinking only juices, only smoothies, only one type of food um, or including them into your diet. There's there's lots of different different ways to go on a detox diet but all of them are bad. The worst thing I have ever seen is people actually taking pills to cleanse their colon or their liver or purify their body or anything like that. So let's talk about why you don't actually need to detoxify your body. Well, it's because your organs do that for you. So your liver converts harmful toxins in your body into non-harmful compounds or excretes them. And also your kidneys filter your blood of any waste or potential harmful substances. And shockingly, these things happen Happen even if you're not sipping on detox tea. Research has shown that there just isn't enough evidence to say that detox diets can actually do good to your body. And there are a few studies that say that they work or are um, have potential benefits, but these studies are very flawed. With the exception of some herbs and plants, which have been shown to have some detoxing properties, the rest is just just has no scientific basis. I mean, these diets revolve around the term toxins, but this term is so vague, um, it's really hard to actually know what they're referring to. So it's really, really impossible to measure scientific effectiveness. And also any detox pills that are marketed to you haven't been tested in clinical studies. Like these pills aren't very regulated and you can't know for sure that they work and you can't even know for sure that they're harmless. It's not because like an influencer tried them and it worked for them that it actually works for most people and that it's not harmful. In addition, these diets claim to make you lose weight fast. Now, while maybe I can agree that the number on the scale can decrease because, you know, you're calorie restricting, um, all the weight that you're probably going to lose will be water weight and muscle mass. So you really don't want to be doing that. You should, in general, never want to lose weight too fast. And if you want to know why, you can check out my article about that, uh, which will be in the description. And after the cleanse, you might even find yourself gaining weight because you're going to want to binge eat all of the foods that you have been restricted from because you're going to be very calorie and nutrient deficient. And also, there's really no evidence that these diets promote liver health or anything like that. And they just really want to make money off of you, you know, so don't do that. So if you go for like your own juice or a grapefruit diet, you might not lose money, but I think that the experience will be very unpleasant and that it won't be worth the potential minor benefits that you may have from it. So there are a few reasons why it's dangerous to try and detoxify your body. First of all, most of these diets are very calorie restrictive and they just lack all the proper nutrients that you need. And this can have so many adverse effects. It can even slow down your metabolism lastingly and actually make you gain weight in the long term. 
In addition, many people take detox pills to like help their liver and colon, but they could actually be doing harm because dietary supplements aren't very regulated and they send a lot of people to the ER each year. These pills can also contain laxative effects, which is why you may think that you're losing weight, but really you're just depleting yourself from water and nutrients. Finally, by trying too hard to flush out the harmful toxins from your body, you might end up actually hurting your microbiome. So you might end up flushing out the bacteria which is actually in your body to protect it. So now you're hopefully thinking that you're not going to go on a detox diet, but you might still want to protect your liver and get healthier for 2020, set some good goals. Well, here are a few simple things you can do. As usual, moderation is is the key this isn't news but if you've eaten unhealthy for a few weeks you can eat lighter dinners lighter lunches have a smoothie for breakfast once in a while have some um, juices like vegetable juices if you want but you need to keep your meals to balance and you need to get all the nutrients that you need from them you can't just go on a super calorie restrictive diet because you've been overeating it, it doesn't work that way it's not going to reset anything just eat healthy and balanced meals and things should start getting back to normal for you if you've gained a few pounds or something like that another thing you can do is limit your alcohol consumption alcohol is really bad for your liver and for your health in general so limit your alcohol intake if you really want to help your body also it's very important to have a healthy lifestyle to eat healthily of course if you overeat and consume more calories than you need on a regular basis these can be risk factors for developing a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which is of course bad for your liver so try to not do that so what you should be doing is eating plenty of fruit and vegetables and grains and whole foods and this will give you a lot of healthy fiber and help with your digestion and that way you will naturally get rid of anything that needs to be out of your body and you won't need to get some colon detox pills or cleanses or anything like that so basically if you're healthy you don't need to detoxify your body because it's already doing it for you so that's really amazing of course unless you have some sort of medical condition or a blockage or something um, in if you're really worried about toxins in your body you should go to a doctor and get medical advice instead of buying um, weight loss Loss, juice cleanses from the internet and as usual the solution is to eat healthy balanced meals and to stay active and to have a healthy lifestyle now I know that this isn't what most people want to hear because it isn't a quick fix but if you really get into the, those healthy habits then it will last you a lifetime and you'll stop yo-yo dieting and all the bad unhealthy things so if you want to start eating a little bit healthier and getting some knowledge about nutrition and health, don't forget to check out my blog. I have lots of different articles about different subjects that can really help you. So again, I'll leave the link in that description. And if you're interested in setting actual health and weight loss goals in 2020 without doing any detoxing, then watch out for my next video, which will be all about setting health and weight loss goals for 2020 and actually achieving them. So thank you so much for watching. I really hoped you liked this video and don't hesitate to subscribe and see you on my next video. Bye.